Hello everyone. Today in this uh, Rappel system, this is what we are going to work on. I'm going to implement the ability to move horizontally while hanging on the rock like this. So character can't uh, only character only can move this much horizontally while hanging on the rock. So this should give you some chance to character to reach some places while hanging on the rope uh, by moving horizontally. Okay, so yeah, let's see how to do this today. And before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done from in my channel from the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access anything without any limits so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below right now let's get back to today's episode okay so right now this is what we have implemented we can press r and attach our rope and go up and down but the character has no capability of moving to the sides and that's what i want to do now right okay so to implement this first thing i need is the right direction or the direction that my character should move in order to move in horizontally while hanging on the so I think we can do that uh, here. This is where we make the character smoothly turn. So as we reach or hang on the row, at the end we will be in the correct rotation. So if I get Vector right vector right here at the end. I think I can use this as the let's call this Now let's go to the move on row part here. Until now we were only considering Y, which is W and S to move up and down. But in order to implement horizontal movement, we need to consider X input as well. Okay, so here let's get this and multiply with the wrapper right. Yes. Then let's add this to this part. This sum of the moment that we need to have. Now this should add some moment if we have any input along x axis. This will add the moment along the horizontal axis as well. So we can check it here. Yeah. Press W, I'm moving now. If I press D, I'm moving to the right. D again, uh, press A, I'm moving to left. If I press W and A, I'm moving up diagonally. But we should prevent, the character should not be able to move a long distance to the side because that's not possible <laughs> according to physics. So maybe we should have some limit, but how do we do that? Let's not complicate it. Uh, let's add a simple constraint, like horizontally character can only move, let's say 500 units to the sides. So we can check it like this. We can Get the vector length. Oh, 
is a only x and y component here and then check if this is less than let's have a variable here three more some moment displacement on drop it's too long let's just use max horizontal displacement that should be enough and i'll use something like 500 add it to here Yeah, a little bit up and press D. So you see, yeah, I can't move more than this. And the other side also. More than this. And when we go up, we are going upward in a straight line. But yeah, when I reach top, I go here. Maybe instead of that, so when we exit from top, yeah, instead of using this wrapper location, let's use the current actor location. right now so if we reach top with some horizontal displacement we should be climbing up on that location instead of moving to the wrapper location oh, didn't work. this Yeah, maybe instead of minus 50, we can get the radius. Divide this. Let's do it here. Okay, so one thing to note is if you want a very realistic or accurate one, instead of using this max displacement, you can consider you can get this Z component and multiply this by sine of the maximum angle you can have with the vertical line a vertical axis and use that as the constraint here instead of using this constant value so this uh, displacement will be reduced as you get closer to the rappel point so that would be a realistic simulation but i don't need want to do that here I just don't need to make it that much realistic so yeah but that is something you should know and another thing is if you have like holes or if this point is closer to this edge you should consider doing a line trace to determine if the character can move further to the left before you actually move there so that depends on how you design the level and how you design placement of the rappel points so 
that is also something you could do you can do all right so thanks for watching as always subdata project files will be available here for download in the patreon page link could be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments and also if you wish to see more more on this series on rapper system please feel free to suggest so in the comments and see you in another tutorial goodbye